hear that sound? That might be the greatest sound in the universe. <laughs> Sound check. check. One, check, two, check. one, two. Four, five, three, four. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome back to another episode of No Tears Frontiers. In this series, we travel all over the world on our KTM 1190 adventure motorcycle. We've been through the Americas, up through Africa, and currently we are in lovely Alaska. Alaska. <laughs> the last episode was a tough one for us. Yeah. bike is not starting. We were stranded. We were uh, with a non-functioning motorcycle in the middle of nowhere, Alaska, but... Due to like a non-functioning brain. <laughs> No, it's it's a mistake that anyone could make. You yeah, know, these things happen. Three out of uh, out of a hundred make, but yeah. The weird thing was, everything functioned just fine after you did your oil change in Fairbanks, this and it wasn't true. until the night of camping at the very beginning of the Denali Highway that things just went astray in the middle of the night. Yeah. We woke up, packed up, went to turn on the motorcycle. Didn't wank, wank. But we had wonderful friends. The calf's dying, so it's kind of like... <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> oh, it's the black flies, I think. Is it? They make you bleed like that, yeah. Oh. A brunch? Yeah. Oh. All right, go for me. <laughs> we did. met wonderful people at the campground. This is true. And, uh, Thank you, John. Yes. So our friend John from Fairbanks has just arrived, and he is a mechanic and um, is pretty confident that he can help us with the motorcycle. So let's go see um, if he can. Fingers crossed. Oh, that's good. They hung out and his wife Becky and yeah. their children, uh, Alex and Axel. These mistakes happen. It was a connection that was not connected properly. Yep. And we think that possibly some dirt had gotten in between yeah. the connecting parts. And slowly wedged. And then something happened in the night and it just yep. <laughs> didn't work anymore. We were going to hit the road the following day. We did have a little joy ride and John's, yes. what do you call that? I mean, it's a, it's a... It's an all-all wheel. <laughs> an eight ATV. It, it, it goes on water and it goes on land. It's one of those things. Yeah. They called it an Argo. Yeah. I'm assuming that's the brand name. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it, it has like these treads and wheels and it runs on land and then it, it turns it into a boat yeah. in the water as well. Crazy thing I'm a jigger, so we took a joy ride in <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> It is 
today and that is because we are going to get on the road again. I'm so excited. The bike is starting. We are packing up now. I was kind of thinking of living here forever. You know, it wouldn't be too bad except for the winters, but I am even more thrilled to be leaving this place <laughs> and to see what the Denali Highway has in store for us. Everyone says it's so gorgeous. We just have to hope that the weather holds out. Right now it's looking pretty good. I can once again say with confidence that the motorcycle is good to go and we will be on the road again. Yay! Once we knew that the bike was up and running, uh, they took off and we said goodbye and we knew we'd yeah. pass them, you know, a little later down the road because we can go a little bit faster than them and their, their trailer, but forever thankful to them. Thank you Absolutely. so very much. And our day's plan was going to be gorgeous because this was the beginning of the Denali Highway, yes. which we had been looking forward to for quite some time. Lots and lots of people. Um, Alaskans, uh, people who had moved to Alaska and had done it, they'd all recommended yeah. this road. There are a lot of bugs. I'm happy to get on the road and get some wind and not have all these bugs flying around my head. You hear that sound? That might be the greatest sound in the universe. <laughs> Denali Highway is the old road that was the only road that led to Denali, the tallest mountain in North America. Yep. It used to be called Mount McKinley. Now it is called Denali, which is the original name. Now you can't really get close to it by road. No, but this was a good direction to, you know, see it. But I mean, even before we got to Denali or the, the viewpoint of where we could have seen it, we were going through the Alaska range and there was just yeah. open fields with more beautiful lakes and mountain ranges in <laughs> the distance, you know, and a glacier oh that just popped out, you know? Yeah. It was gorgeous. Absolutely beautifully gorgeous the sun was out there were some clouds and those clouds liked to hover around the mountains but for the most part we had beautiful weather so look at that yeah. wow. and mountains. Yeah, now it feels like we're on top of the world yeah we pulled over at just as many stops as we could it just got better and better and better couldn't have counted how many mountains there were yeah and they all seemed to kind of like blend into one another and each one just completely covered in snow and then you had the green foothills in front of those mountains yeah. wow we had been emotionally upset of course yeah. when the motorcycle was not working and we were stuck um, it's it's a hard thing to deal with but now we had this emotional high, like, oh, it's working. We knew what the problem was. It was something that was easily yeah. fixable. We felt very confident For in the sure. motorcycle again. I mean, the worst thing is when something, yeah, like kick it and then it works and you're like, I didn't really do much, yeah. but it started. <laughs> so whatever, whatever was wrong probably will happen again. Exactly. But this was a verified, bona fide, you know, solution. So yes. we were pretty confident that the bike has, was not starting to fail us, just my mechanical abilities, <laughs> and we carried on down the road.
But when it came to Denali, yeah. we unfortunately um, were unable to see Denali. Yeah, and I'm okay with that. We yeah, saw there was so many too things many that we saw tall mountains that in yeah. my mind is like, yeah, I shot Denali. It's that big <laughs> mountain with the white stuff on top, right? And like, yeah, and I was like, saw that. Totally <laughs> saw that one. We made it that evening to a little town called Telkitna. Oh yeah. So we look it up and there happens to be a little campground at the end of it. And by God, Telkitna is not some off the mill town. It's- There's the, a lot of people there. <laughs> there's a lot of people there. This is the town of Telkitna and it is happening. Uh, yeah, restaurants, bars, bands playing tonight apparently. Robert's locker, which is cool. So we're gonna camp here, right? Kind of in the middle of town. It's like the park. It's the butt end of town. Yeah, um, it's a historic town. So we'll walk around and see what we can see and hope for no rain. There was a, a cat, the mayor. It was bustling. It was bustling and hustling. And we, we thankfully, we got a campsite. So here we have knitted products that are called Pivut, which is musk ox. It's so soft. Cans of soup dinner. We have chipotle chicken, which is actually quite spicy and delicious. Mm -hmm. And clam chowder. What's red? <laughs> but our neighbor, was like, yeah, man, there's a funk band playing tonight. And I was like, yeah, heck yeah. So these neighbors turned out to be really, really cool. Jared and Christine. Yes. And they're originally from Wisconsin. So mm -hmm. fellow sort of Midwesterners. Sort of neighbors. Yeah, but they have definitely made a home for themselves here in Alaska. And they said, yeah, you know, we heard of this band, Diggin' Dirt, and mm -hmm. uh, they're really awesome. You should check them out. And the place where we had camped, was kind of right in the middle of town. I mean, the town is right at not, the end of town. Yeah, it's not, it's not big. The town is like two blocks long. It is. And then the <laughs> exclamation point of the, the line is the campground. Exactly. It's kind of like the town park on the side. Yeah. Yeah. But I was like, yeah, funk yeah. <laughs> Marissa is always asking me, won't you take me to Funky, funky town? town? And I did. I finally did. <laughs> I took her to Funky Town. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that what band was a great! Show. <laughs> he was a very funkadelic dude. Yes! Soul singing, <laughs> awesome. I was, I, was, I was there with him. He was a family stone. <laughs> Good one. He was a family stone, huh? So not only had we had a very trying past couple of days, but this was like the high after the despair yeah. of going through the Denali Highway. It was so, so beautiful. This is then true. arriving in this town and there's like this wonderful concert yeah. for us. We went through a little funk and then we went to some... some Real funk. funk. Heck yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, we closed the bar down. We did. We were we, there we just all night. hung out. You know, everybody left, but it was. It was just... I mean, it, it got dark. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's how late we were there. For sure. <laughs> so it had rained um, throughout the night, and then it was drizzling in the morning. It's a chilly, rainy day. But we had some plans, and we were gung ho, and we were going to do it no matter what. And the plans were this wonderful road that had been recommended to us by Ryan, our friend that had visited us while we oh, were yeah. all stranded, yeah. and also Jared, who we had just met. This is true. And it's called Hatcher's Pass. So we were very excited to do Hatcher's Pass, a little worried about it in the rain, but we get a call from Ryan, yeah. and he's like, hey, do you want to tour guide? I said, heck yeah, man, that'd be, that'd be awesome. But that will be in our next episode. So I hope you liked this one. And if you did, please give us a huge thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Ding, ding. And we'll be seeing you next time. Stay safe, everybody. Bye. Peace. I don't know if I should say all this or in the next.
episode. We get a call. Can you say that again? I was going like this. Yeah, use it. Don't come back. (laughs) 